So what would you think if Apple brought back the iPod Classic in 2019? If you love Apple, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. What is going on guys? Apple World here. So yesterday I was watching Painfully Honest Tech. I was watching Jason's latest video, which was called Save Apple, Bring Back the iPod Classic. Before watching the video, I was like, what is this guy talking about? Why would Apple bring back the iPod Classic? And after watching his video, which I will of course link down below, and you guys should definitely go subscribe to him. Amazing creator, amazing personality, and amazing person. Definitely go check him out. He changed my mind about the iPod Classic. And to be honest, I would actually think, and I think I would actually purchase if Apple were to release an iPod Classic in 2019, I think I would actually purchase one. Here's why. So what you're probably thinking right now is my $1,000 iPhone that I just spent all my money in can of course play my music. And you're totally right. Your iPhone is amazing for streaming music because you've got all the unlimited music you want, um, but of course you have to be online. You've got all the music you want and your iPhone can of course, look at all the stuff that your iPhone can do. You can. It's, a, it's your camera, it's your, you can text message, you can call people, you've got all of your social media. And that's the point. That's the point that Jason from Painfully Honest Tech said. Here's what he said. The beauty of the iPod Classic came in how it functioned in your life. It was a single use device. You loaded albums onto it, charged it up, plugged in headphones, you were listening to music. <laughs> There were no notifications popping in, no game that you could play while you listen, no phone calls were going to break through and interrupt your listening session. It was you and your music and your iPod, and that was it. Yes, and I totally agree. In the 21st century, we are addicted. Yes, you might say no, but yes, we are purely addicted to social media. I try to use my phone the least, and that is why I love my Apple Watch so much, because my Apple Watch helps me to use my phone less, and the less I actually open my phone, the less I'll be distracted. And that's literally the point. The iPod Classic in 2019 would literally be just to listening music. Now, what is the point of that? If you love music, you're gonna treat music like art, period. Let's say, for example, books. People compared the Kindle yesterday in my tweets, and we're gonna talk about my tweet in just a second. But here's an example. I'm gonna twist it up a bit like people said on, on my tweet. Books, what is the point of books? if we have Kindle or if we have the iPad. Why do we still have books since with a book, it's a really thick book and there's only one book. With a Kindle, with an iPad, we can have all the books we want on one device and we can, you know, in, in, in the sun, you can still read it. So what is the point of books now? Well, people still love books. People simply like to have the feeling of a book. Same with the iPad. The iPod, for example, on the iPad, if you're reading books and you get a notification, you're like, hmm, I'm going to tap on this notification. And then that brings you to Instagram, and then Instagram, you get distracted, and then after Instagram, you're going to go to Twitter, etc., etc., etc. With the iPod Classic, the only purpose that this would do is you would connect your headphones, and then you would listen to music, period. There's nothing else. If you love music, you would want this thing. trust me you're gonna want this thing if apple were to add an ipod in 2019 it'd be seriously awesome yesterday i tweeted out this ipod 2019 edition thoughts concept by alvaro pavesio alvaro pavesio by the way is an amazing concept artist he's done so many concepts surrounding um the apple world he's done concept on ios and the new ipad pro so he's seriously as such an amazing talented artist i will link down his work down below definitely check him out but yeah he's done this concept on the 2019 ipad how could it actually look like and to be honest this concept seriously looks amazing now what would the 2019 ipad classic have that this guy didn't well basically Currently, we all use streaming services. At least, I think the 80%, the 90% of the population, we all use Spotify, we all use Apple Music, which by the way, let me know in the comments down below, what do you guys use, Apple Music or Spotify? We all use streaming services, right? So the iPod Classic in 2019 would have the ability to stream music whenever we want, and we could actually download it offline. So this guy, for example, has 160 gigabytes of purely music. We could have all our music library on one device. Your iPhone can't do that because on your iPhone, we've got a bunch of apps, music, games, etc., etc., etc. This guy would seriously be only for music, which is amazing. It's like a Kindle. No one says the Kindle Paperwhite should exist because Amazon has four tablets. The iPod Touch is not 
an iPod. It's a baby tablet. The iPod's sole purpose was to listen to music, not so with the touch. And I totally agree. The iPod Touch is like a is like an iPhone. It's like a mini tablet. You can do whatever you want and you can still get distracted. With this guy, you would only listen to music. So if you're a fan of music, if you treat music like art, you'd make sense. If you if you say no, the iPod Classic does not make sense. That clearly means that you don't respect music as it should be. He says, what do you think the price should be? 250 to $300. To be honest, Jason, I don't really agree with that at all. I feel like Apple should make it a little bit cheaper because that get, that gets in the price point as, yeah, Ramon just said that on the Apple Watch. That gets in the price point of an Apple Watch. Now, I know it has nothing to do, I know, I understand that the iPod and the Apple Watch are totally different products. But if you get in that price range of $300, that is really expensive. I would go with $200. I think that's a pretty you know, decent price that you can store all of your music. I think that would be a really good price. Nope, not going to happen. Love it. Would buy it. Wow, there's people punching here. We don't need an iPod in 2019. We need it. So there's clearly a bunch of opinions. And of course, I want to know your opinion down in the comment section down below. Do you guys think there is a point? on Apple releasing an iPod Classic in 2019. Once again, let me know your thoughts in the comments and go watch Painfully Honest text video. It's right here. Go watch it right now. Seriously, go subscribe to him while you're there. But yeah, go watch. I'll wait. I'll sleep a little bit because with YouTube, I've been uploading and then I have to do homework later on, so I'm so tired. So go click on it. Good night, everybody. Wake up. Terry, go away.